Coming right in, there is a craft going on. The cast member. Oh, they're doing a rubbing. That's awesome. Very cool. Little seating area right to the right. And it looks like if you're seeing at the resort, that probably is either a walkway up to a top level for rooms. The first thing we're going to look at right to the right is the Sawadi Marketplace. It's open from 7.30 to 11 daily, so we'll go take a look in there. We have African inspired carvings. Some down at the bottom as well. I love them. And then over here we have ostrich eggs that are decorated. Inspired pieces, maracas, drums, just fun noise makers, instruments. I like these ones. They're easy. Just turn it. Hmm. This one's kind of cool too. Oh goodness. Let's see. Very cool. And I love these, these are little bamboos. Like how sweet is that? A little giraffe. Oh my goodness. Some shirts, they're having this um, sale for two for 40 right now. All Animal Kingdom and Safari specific. I really like these portraits. I'm trying to get my out of the light here. Get her a drum. <laughs> How pretty that is. Of the lodge. It's really nice. Got safari hats and vests. And these ones have pins on them. So that's really neat. Very cool. section over here. Look at this little radio control vehicle. It's a little safari truck with Mickey inside. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And they have a whole wall of stuffies. Pretty much every animal you can think of. And then over here they have more um, like Animal Kingdom, Lion King specific. 
I love the Safari Mini and the Safari Duffy. Look at her. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. Even this um, Pumbaa and Timon. Those are really cool. Very Check neat. Check behind the main register. They have some Dooney and Burke. Looks like the Mickey pants, the embossed, the princess key, and the sketch patterns. Very cool. And then here's other bags. Disney backpacks. These are the purchase with purchase ones. So it, um, if you get a, if you, let's see what it says here. Um, with any merchandise purchase of $25 or more, you can get the beach towel tote for $14.95. Or if you purchase $40 or more, you can get the backpack for $19.95. So those are cool. What I just love about this store is all of the um, African specific merchandise. So you see a lot of wood carving things. These are just beautiful. These are all beaded. Ooh, ah, sorry, little guy. Beaded sculptures. His tags underneath them. That's why. There we go. Very cool. Little drums. Here's some masks. Those are really neat. I'll show you my favorite case though. Here's some um, cool Animal Kingdom. Shirts. This is my favorite case though. It is the Pandora case. <gasps> Beautiful! That's where all the expensive things are. <laughs> Pretty watches. So nice. And then this one's got fine jewelry as well. Pretty. I mean, look how stunning. Let's see if I can look at that. Oh my gosh, how pretty. So delicate. Some don't even have a jewelry, they have the um, birthstone jewelry as well that you can find pretty much at any shop. I've seen that lots of places. Really pretty. I like this collection they're doing. It's this um, like Mickey swirl. It's really pretty because it's not so obviously Mickey. Which is sometimes nice when you're trying to wear it in your everyday outfit. You don't necessarily want. Hi, Mickey. More jewelry. Some lanyards. I like the beaded lanyards. Some really pretty beaded jewelry. These are nice um, luggage tags, and these are the prices that they do. They do a color-coded system. Some magnets. This looks more like men's jewelry. And then I like these, the letters that are in the animal prints. These are the little um, flashing name tags. This one says teacher. It's kind of cool. But that's the one I pull. And then of course you have the little stuffies. Still in the front room here, they have a display for some of the Christmas items. So they've got different Christmas ornaments here. 
and some drinkware, tumblers, a little photo display. Here are those tumblers again. And some hats. More drinkware. I love that, that cup with all the different animal print Mickey heads. It's really cute. Some little basket. Those are cute. They're little woven baskets you can put anything in. And there's Eva! Nice. What's it doing? I like this one. Wanting, I want to show you the one I like. Oh look, it has dinosaur and stuff. Yeah, that's cute. I like the Mickey head one. This one? Mm-hmm. Oh, With nice all the different... Mug. Yeah, and this texture like, it's not flat, it's like, kind of like... It's not 2D, it's kind of 3D in there, but... It's embossed. Yeah. Oh, cute! It's not bad for 15 yeah. bucks, I think. No, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I like that one. What I also love about this store is that they have this almost like stage where they feature some different carvings that you can purchase and an artist will sit right up there and carve it right in front of you which is really cool so you can actually see their table actually looks like they're doing this name works so it looks like the person who does the name works is going to sit here but typically they'll have um, an artist right there doing the carving. And then they have some beautiful portraits. Yeah, it's really fun to watch them carve. Beautiful artwork. Okay, so those are the stairs that I walked down from the lobby. So this is just kind of a pan of that whole first room that I showed you. Um, there's like the t-shirts and the hats, that whole back wall is the kids wall. This whole front section was all the cups and then the two cases of jewelry. So I showed you that whole front room. Now this whole back portion is just regular Disney merchandise that you would find um, within the parks. So they've got pens and books and board games, a lot of clothing. Um, I can do a quick pan of this as well, but I feel like the, what I really wanted to feature was the Animal Kingdom specific stuff, which was all in that back room. So, this is so cute. It's got a little, I guess, cheetah or leopard print Mickey on the front. And then on the back, it has the same print. I love that. And that's a very nice, subtle Mickey. And it is $54.95. The lights kind of washed out that price it's, it's thin, which is I Florida. think I think nice for Florida, right? Mm -hmm. You don't need heavy duty sweaters. I really like that. I think that's really pretty. Um, they've got some khaki pants, which is kind of cute. I love this whole mini line. This like fashionable mini. I've seen this sweater for a while now. It's got the ears on the hood. That one's really popular. This looks new though. This little mini tee and then it's got a little bow on the side. I love these sets that they do that are loungewear. I think that those are really nice. Then they have the 2017 merchandise. Which, I mean, it's October, so pretty soon. I am, I'm actually surprised that I haven't seen 2018 merchandise yet because I, I'm starting to see Christmas stuff out. So I'm, that won't be out for very much longer, I imagine. Here's getting into the men's side. They've got pajamas. Nice polos, another set. I love that they <laughs> incorporate like the khakis, so if you're here and you need a full outfit, not just a shirt. I think that's kind of interesting that they do that. And some more kids things. The little girls sign. Again, I love the little sets that they do. 
Here comes Abel. I can see him in the mirror. What'd you find? Oh, I love those little emoji pillows. I think those are so cute. <laughs> They're so comfy too. They're really comfortable, I agree. I'll show you the plush, plush side where he's at in just a second. Here's um, pool things, which I think is really nice. So you've got swimsuits, hats, um, and they also include stuff like this, which I think is really nice. They are the earplugs for kiddos, the inflatable armbands, a little beach ball. That's really nice. Yeah, that's a swimsuit cover for ladies. They also have the H2O brand, which I first discovered on the cruise line. So that's nice to see that they have it here. I think that they, it says spa, so I don't know if they use that in their spas here. Those are the misters. It looks like you get select beach towels, $20 each when you buy two, and they're regular $24.99, so that's nice. Here's the, um, for some flip flops there. <laughs> This is the plush, though, that Abel was looking at. A little picked over. Those blanket babies are $26.99. Really cute, though. Come on, Duffy. And then here's, like, games figurines, some Star Wars things. Lion Guard. Some more games. There's Pirates of the Caribbean Battleship. That's kind of cool. I haven't seen that anywhere else, I don't think. Monopoly, some puzzles, and some cards. I love the, the book section. Stationery. That's really neat. These little stationery zip kits I love. They have like markers and colored pencils and stuff. That's really cool. This is a um, coloring book of Aristocats. That's really neat. And then you bought your Halloween merch. I like that they sell it at the resorts as well. So if you see something at the park but maybe don't want to purchase it and carry it around with you while you're at the park, or if you're a local and can't get into the park, so you don't want to because at this time of the year, um, the holiday season tends to get a little busier, you can come to the resort and get your merch. And they actually did a full walkthrough of the Halloween merchandise that's available at Disney Springs that I'll go ahead and link below, which is why I'm not being very thorough with prices and things like that at this time, um, especially with the Halloween merch, because I've already done that video. But it's nice to know that they have them for sale too as well. Got some ears there. This is a whole nother spinner of keychains. What I wanted to take you to see is the um, other Animal Kingdom merchandise, Animal Kingdom Lodge specific. So there is a sweater with a logo. I really like that one. Same logo on a T or a golf shirt for men. I think that's a golf shirt, a sporting shirt. Again, logo on this sweater or navy. And then they have um, animal things like, look at, I'm sorry for what I said when I was hangry. <laughs> look at the hyena one, hon. What's that say? What does it say? LOL. It just says LOL. And oh my god, I love it. Let me see. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. It just says LOL. That's <laughs> really cute. <laughs> I actually like that mug as you mean. I like yeah. this shirt. I think that shirt is really cute. This whole line is really cute. The rhinos are just chubby unicorns. Giraffe jam. <laughs> There's more Animal Kingdom Lodge emblems. 
let the good times roar. That's so cute. Here's a whole display for Animal Kingdom Lodge. Some really nice drinkware, some statues. I love that pillow if you're wanting to bring a bit of the decor into your home. You can do that through pictures. That pillow is really cool. Oh, here, look. Eco mochila. This is really cool. Will you hold that, hun, so I can focus on, yes. on it? You want to explain to them what eco mochila is? So mochila is supposed to be like a backpack, mm. uh, but this one is by uh, Proyecto Titi, which to take care of an animal that lives in Colombia called the Contop Tamarin. He's right there, he's so cute. Now it's cool because over there they're doing all handmade. Mm -hmm. and this is a thin, uh, they're very thin pieces of plastic, mm -hmm. which they make bracelets. So this is just plastic and it looks awesome. Mm -hmm. And part of that money goes to the conservation of this animal, right. which is a monkey. It's a called a Contop Tamarin. Mm -hmm. They weigh about a pound which is so cool. Oh, Yeah, so these are neat. They're um, reusing that plastic in a more sustainable way. And then, as Abel said, you are donating to the conservation effort for the cotton top Camerons, which is really neat. Sorry. No, you're okay. And then they've got cool wood carved pens. I always think those are really neat. And then the bamboo sets. They've got really nice things here. Ooh, they have wine. Ava, look. Detorin Z 2013. Craftsman Sum Sum. Some fancy wine. They also have the Festival of the Lion King, Animal Kingdom, and Finding Nemo soundtracks. So if you have the chance to see those shows at the park and you love them and want to listen to the music, you can purchase them at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Which I think is really special. They have some women's shirts here. I really like that one. The kind of the tribal print on the side. And the last thing I wanted to show you over here by these registers, because this is a deluxe resort, um, and some of the other resorts have this that aren't deluxe as well, but they have this whole pantry area that has chips and bread and water a whole fridge section. So when you're staying here, you definitely can get stuff to take up to the room. Um, and then same for toiletries as well. They have that sunscreen, Advil, bug spray. Um, for the pool, those little swimmers with the little um, swim diapers. I think that that's really nice that they have those accommodations. And then of course they have pins, which I'm all about. That sun, though, coming in. Captain Abel looking at the pins. Oh, and they've got some ornaments out. Mm -hmm. So I was actually looking at the phone. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, cool. I feel like you'll like this one. <gasps> you know your wife well. <laughs> There's diamonds in it. Mm -hmm. I need it. And it's for a seven to six. Success. Do you have the success, right? I think so. And then I'm not so I sure. love this one. Let's see it. Ooh. It's got Leota on it. And regions beyond now, but having a ball. That's really cool. And I like the emoji one. Those are and really neat. Nice. Now they have like Cinderella one too. Oh, pretty. The They're coming out with some Ariel, good stuff. Yeah. I don't see a Rapunzel, but I think those are cool. Very, very cool. What does it say there? Oh, those are the bandits. Never mind. I thought it was for the phone. This is a lens cloth. Cool. It's for your lens. Look, this will be perfect Cute. for. Oh, attach it to the camera. I forgot to clean the lens. That's a little Mickey. Aww. Yeah, you just hook it right on the strap and then you can clean your camera yeah. lens. I feel like you use this also for your phone. Oh, yeah, totally. Good. That's super cute. <laughs> Very cool. They've got some good. The last thing I have to show for this, of course, is the treat wall. Yes. What do you feel like is me? Look at these Animal Kingdom sweets. And the pretty cups. I love the cups in the tea section. It's my favorite. What each one do you feel like is me? Hey! When you wake up. Aww. 
Or this? Or the mini one. Oh my goodness, she doesn't look happy. That's true though, I am literally cranky in the morning. I love my knees. I wanna knees. be here, uh, hipster. <laughs> They've got some great cups. I just love all of them. I want to be hipster Mickey. Oh, he's really cute. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm You right. kind of are with your little, you have those headphones and your phone and your little fashionable tennis shoes. <laughs> I love the tea. Those are hipster mini too. Oh yeah, she's really fashionable. I don't feel like I'm hipster though, so. Maybe, I, maybe I'm using the term hipster wrong, so. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe comment down below and tell me what a hipster is. Yeah, Ava wants to know what a hipster is. So, <laughs> you can tell him in the comments. <laughs> I love it. I think so that's a pretty good, thorough overlay of the shop. Um, now we're gonna go explore the rest of the lobby. Mm -hmm. Take you outside to the savannah and let's take a look at some of the animals. We are now on the ground level out by the pool. This is Jiko right in here. But we are walking towards the focus. We are walking towards the Mara, which is the quick service food place. We're going to grab some lunch. Mama's not feeling too well, so she may sit down while I showcase some of the rest of the resort. So we're going to get her in a nice shaded place. There's kind of a glimpse of one of the pools there. And you can hear um, where they've probably got some games going on. But this is the Mara right in here. So, I'm gonna go check it out. The Mara menu. Breakfast from 7 to 11. Getting the kids' meals. And then they have lunch and dinner from 11 to 11. And the kids' meals. We have a wine selection, a grab and go area with cereals and chips, and then the Chip and Dale snack company, little pretzels and stuff. But then they also have a little bakery, muffins and brownies and things. Bananas, apples, oranges. Tamara frozen beverages. Adwala strawberry lemonade and jungle juice. That looks really good. It is frozen. That looks so good. And then here are the menus there. This is the what I showed you guys outside. Just here for guests to look at. Food stop. Okay. Abel got pepperoni flatbread. Mustard. I got the falafel platter. Mom got the carved ham sandwich with french fries. I actually asked for a coleslaw, but they ended up giving her french fries anyway. The zebra cupcake. Super moist. I know everybody loves that word. I got the frozen jungle juice. Mom just got her diet soda and Abel got a water. Yummy! Alright, coming out of Mara. And that's the front entrance here. This is the second entrance. We are walking down with the pool on our right um, because I want to show you the arcade. Also, right here, there are restrooms and some lockers. Looks like it's a dollar rental. So, you can put your things in a locker when you're down by the pool. But I feel like if you're staying here, you would just keep them in your room. There's some more lockers. Water fountain. 
And here are, here is, Boomba's Fun and Games. Thank you, Annie. Okay. Ava went right to the massage chair. It's pretty big. what you want or does it just go? It, just it looks like it's counting down. down. Can you feel it? Alright, we're going to be in here for five minutes now. <laughs> um, there's also the arcade parts. Here's the sign. It looks like it's a dollar for 50 play points, five dollars for 250 plus 25, so 275. $10 for 500, plus 100, so 600. $20 for 1,000, plus 250, so 1,250. And then they also have the magical value, which is $25 for 1,250 play points, plus 750. So you can just purchase your card here, and you charge it there. And that is how you play at the arcade. Outside of the arcade, right on the gate of the pool, there is a um, recreation activities listing for Kadani Village and for Jumbo House, which is where we're at now. And it looks like they have some Halloween activities listed for Sunday, October 29th through Tuesday, October 31st. So, um, I, we also love the nightly movies. I think that this is really cool that they offer so many different activities for the guests staying They here. also have this daily adventures posting, um, the October recreation mm -hmm. calendar, and they have a lot of different things that you can do. So when we walked into the lobby, we actually got to see the medallion rubbing, and that was from 2 to 12.30. They have meet a lobby greeter, Inkoma, which is a stamp activity, African face painting, pin trading, ooh, that's it too, African wonders, Discover the continent of Africa through an interactive matching game. African inspired Disney designed. Take a tour led by one of our cultural representatives to learn the story behind the design of Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. They have a tour of, this, of Sanaa, music of the Savannah, drum cafe, African folk tales, African journey, cultural safari, and join the primal parade. And so they have stuff going on all day. And then they also have different animal programs where you can meet a savanna guide. There's a flamingo activity, animal tracking, animal enrichment. It only looks like it's held um, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday at Kanani Village and Monday, Wednesday, Friday here at Jumbo House. Wildlife games, have you heard, bio blocks, the night vision, and starlight safari. And I know that for these, you can actually get little beads and build a um, little charm, I guess bracelet for lack of a better term. It's more like a keychain. Then they have this culinary exploration where you can dine with animal specialists on Wednesday and Saturday. Um, they have cookie decorating, wine tasting, and a culinary tour. And then again, this is that same recreation calendar that I showed you that's posted on the pool. So this is the path that we followed that had the Pumbas Arcade. We just came down here. 
This is still the main pool. It's, it is just a giant circle. But we're actually going to turn left down this path because this is going to take us to the savanna. There is also a nice tucked away jacuzzi right here, which is actually bubbling. Um, so, see if I can, there we go. I'm not long enough, I need longer arms. <laughs> hey, Annie. There we go, seven am to, oh, I should have just come around the corner. That was definitely a lot easier. I made that more difficult than it needed to be. <laughs> We're gonna go check out the savanna over here. Looks like they've got some cornhole, which is super fun. Oh, it's so nice out. It's beautifully windy. All right, let's check out the savanna, see what we see. They have these little outlooks all over the resort. Oh, I see something. What's that way out there? I don't know, it looks like a Thompson's gazelle or some of our horn Oh, he's pretty. I don't think it's the scimitar horn horns, but it doesn't have that. It's pretty quiet out there. Oh, he's eating. Like food and stuff with the giraffes by the pool stick and shit in there. Yeah. Okay. Right there. So the giraffes would come eat. Yeah, and I think that's where the cast members go backstage back there. Yeah, that's where all Where the are. animals are also going in for their too. night barns. There's also night barns over there. Mm hmm. Straight back there by the fencing. And those little wires called hot blossoms. So it's kind of like a, you know, between the boundaries between us and then the animals. They kind of know. Cool. I don't know how well you can see. Um, this is as far as I can zoom in with this lens. But I can see the truck. But the keeper is coming in. They are filling the buckets that Abel pointed out to you for the animals. So they might have a rotation. Maybe they fill that up and then they will let the giraffes go out. coming right up to us. That's so cool. Yep, looks like they're gonna put out food for the giraffe. Where's that cow, Kate? Enrichment. Uh, taking down the food for the giraffe, maybe us switching it out. Yeah, nice fresh leaves. How cool. That does make sense. That's why the animals aren't out, though. They want to keep them away from the keepers. Yeah, and they can check you know, how they have to do before they go out. Very cool. Ready? Yeah. Okay. I don't know that I'm going to be able to hold it hit. That was great multitasking. Ah! <laughs> yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I can't hold the camera at the same time, but that's super fun. They just leave the, um, the paddles and the ball out for you. Again, we're still at that front entryway. Here's the pool, so tons of activities to do. Super yeah. neat. Definitely want to do this one when the sun is not hitting. Yeah, the sun is right on the table too. So just right around help. the corner here. There's the ping pong table we were just at. There is a flamingo pool. Look how beautiful they are. They're really smelly. And there's some keepers in there, which I think is super cool when you get to see them with their animals. Let's see if I can zoom in on them for you. Look how beautiful. They're so light in color. They are not dark pink at all. 
So the center box that you see here, oops, there's my finger, sorry, um, is actually where their food is stored. Some of the keepers are probably out there because they just filled it, I would assume. Yeah. How about the little tags on their legs? Yeah, so if the tag is on the right, of their leg, they are a male. Male, and then if it's on the left, if it's a left, female. it's a female. So the way I remember that is, males like to think they're right because it's they're on the right. right leg, but they're not always right. <laughs> <laughs> and they have different numbers, so that's how instead of having names, they give them numbers because it's easier because they have so many of them. Yeah. So it'll be hard to kind of keep up with Charlie Don. Right. I love how vocal they are. They're totally having conversations over there. You know, the keeper's filling up with water, so they can actually go on the outside. Mm -hmm. They were just counting them earlier, which is great. You can see They're the ibises cool. on top. See the little birds there? Yeah. They like to sneak in on that food. Akuna Matata Playground. This play area is for the enjoyment of children ages 2 to 12. Abel, are you 2 to 12? Yeah, but I want to show you the <laughs> beer. Yeah, this is really nice. They have these throughout That's the resorts. Bottle that you can put your bottle and refill so you can save yourself the three dollars and yes. buy new bottles. But what a cute little play area. I love it. This is also really nice. They've got benches for the adults to sit and wait. And, um, and this is a nice sponge. At Rafiki's they are, yeah. And this one's hard too. How fun! They've got slides, that little spiral thing. That's super cool. Just kind of off, a, off of the walkway again. We're just still going right around the pool. There's the pool you can kind of see behind Abel. So we'll keep heading around. Here's the overlook of the pool. It's about four foot nine we saw on this edge. So pretty big. Here's the walkway that we've been looping around. So if you were going to continue and turn left, it would take you back into the main lobby. And if you were to continue and take a right, it would you would end up at um, Mara, which is where we had our quick service lunch. And that will complete the loop for the outside. This is where you can get a good view of some of the balconies and the rooms. It is just truly a beautiful resort. Look at that blue water. Looks nice and refreshing. Right, this is the massage and fitness center. I'm gonna go take a look. Oh, oh, wrong door. <laughs> Ooh, I still love these mats. Oh, and there's nobody in here. Awesome. Wow. Hello. Oh, wow. This is fantastic. Really nice. And then those are the restrooms and locker rooms and I see that door says massage room A so I imagine when you go back there that is the spa but this is fantastic. TVs up there when you're on the treadmill. Great. Very, very cool. Wanted to showcase this beautiful lobby. There are the main doors straight ahead. So I'm at the complete edge here where you would go down the stairs and out into the Savannah Overlook. It's actually a double staircase. Over there is a lounge area and they have presentations there for African culture representatives will talk about all different kinds of things. We had gone to one where they talked about the big five in Africa, but I just cannot get over it. It's stunning. All right, coming down into the lounge where I said that they have some of the presentations. I'm actually gonna show you down here. 
you can step out onto the overlook and see the animals. So you can see that this is just a lounge area. Some nice comfy chairs. But we're gonna head outside. Ooh, thank you, Mama. And check out the view. I spot some zebras. They're stunning. This one's a really nice overlook because I don't feel like a lot of people know about this one. So every time we've been able to come out here, there are not very many people. But it's nice because again, just like I showed you down at the pool, you also get to see some of the balconies here at the resort and kind of their views. So that can help you determine where you would like your room to be. What's also really cool is they will have these I guess wheels um, that just feature facts about the animals that you're looking at. So out here you would see ostrich, roan antelope, wildebeest, and then there should be another one. Yeah, there's the one for the zebra. That sun, <laughs> zebra, giraffe, and and coli cattle. So those are the animals that you could see out on the savanna. It's beautiful. Oh, okay. Heading outside. This is the main savanna. nobody out here beautiful day this is where they have the campfire stories so at night they will light this fire pit and they will have a cultural representative from Africa out here telling stories I'm gonna go ahead and take you to the main savanna this is pretty wide um, and you can continue down the path to the right to see more of it but we're going to start over here. I actually don't see anything right out here. But I'm still going to do a pan for you. Let's go ahead and go check out the other side. I just can't get over how beautiful it is outside right now. There's Savannah. And then here we go, we've got more zebras. Looks like some cattle. Like a water buck. 